Hello and welcome to this video on calculating isotopes. By the end of this video you should be able to work out the overall relative atomic mass of an isotope when given the abundances. This video is going to answer the question of how we get from 75% of chlorine-35 and 25% of chlorine-37 to the overall mass of chlorine-35.5. Now the equation that you need for that is the relative atomic mass is the percentage of the isotope multiplied by the mass of the isotope and then divide it all by 100. So in this example where we have chlorine 35, what we want to do is take that 35 and multiply it by the percentage, which in this case is 75, and then divide that by 100, which gives you 26.25. Now what you need to do is do the same for the all the different isotopes. So in this case, 37 by 25, divide that by 100, which gives you 9.25. And then finally, all you do is take those numbers and add them together, which comes out 35.5. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at a question then. So this one's a little bit tougher. Let's see if you can have a go at it. It says magnesium is made up of three different isotopes. Mg24, which has an abundance of 78.7%. Mg26, which has an abundance of 11.17%. Mg25, which has an abundance of 10.13%. Calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. So think back to the equation that you've just seen and have a go at it. Pause the video and then when you're ready, see how you've done. Okay, let's see how you did. So what you want to do here is find the percentage and the mass of every single isotope. So we have 78.7 of 24, 11.17 of 26, and 10.13 of 25. So then start off one isotope at a time. So we've got 78.7 times by 24, all divided by 100, which gave me 18.8 recurring. Number two was 11.17 times by 26, divide all that by 100, and that comes out at 2.904. And then you've got 10.13 times by 25, divided by 100, and that comes out to 2.533. The final step then is add all those together, and that comes to 24.33, which is your final answer. Okay, hopefully uh, this video has helped. Have a look at the review question. If you can do that, then you're all sorted. It says boron has two isotopes. 10B has an abundance of 20%, and 11B has an abundance of 80%. Calculate the relative atomic mass of boron. That ends this video.